This is how we make the moonshine. Is this it? This is it. Think this is secluded enough? I think it'll work. My Aunt Dolly and my dad were born on the other side of that mountain over there, and that's where my papa Lee Parton ran some of his shine when he was making. Moonshining is just a way of life here. It's my papa Lee Parton uh, bootlegged and moonshine to support a growing family. And I know we got some water back that way. Let's go check it out if you want to, see what we can do. Now, Danielle is a legal distiller, but she's never made any liquor the old fashioned way out here in the elements. Just up over this little hump right here is where we're gonna find our water. Plenty of water. Now, where did you have in mind for a still site? Well, I was thinking there's a little clearing up here with a little more trees and stuff. Yep. And that's also close to where I think what might have once been a still in the really? older days. Well, we're following your lead. You well, take us where on. you think you need to put a still site and we'll, right. uh, we'll see what we got. Step one, if you want to make backwoods liquor, you've got to find you a backwoods still site. Well, here's that old metal I was telling you about that I thought might have been an old steel site. Well, it could very well be. That's old galvanized, and that's what they made them silver clouds out of. That right there, Daniel, them zax marks were. We it, busted not it up. only has it been a steel, it got cut at one time. Yeah, I'd say that this is definitely a silver cloud steel. They were called that because when the moon was full, it would shine on them oh, yeah. a little bit and reflect, and that's where they call them silver clouds. Good chance it. Your ancestors made liquor on that very still. It's probably very true. Ain't that pretty cool? That is cool. Well, one of the reasons I want to run in the woods is just so I can feel what it was like when my grandparents was doing it. You know, the fact that we found what was probably an old still at one time makes me feel good about this being a current still site. I think that you have found the perfect spot. Really, it has everything that we need, everything we're looking for. Me and Diggers had to look 40 places before we could ever choose a spot. Well, you should have called me, don't I look like a mountain woman? Well, yeah, and you damn sure talk like one. I love that. <laughs> Even though I wear, you know, lipstick, bleach my hair, have my fake nails, whatever, I'm just as comfortable in the woods, especially here in East Tennessee, as I am anywhere. We got apples. We got you cranberries. Let's get this little green rascal going up. Okay. Now, you see how that looks kind of like a french fry? Yeah. This ain't artificial sweetener, pectic enzyme. Now rub that around the other finger. Now you see how juice is starting to mm -hmm. come out of it? I mean, there's nine million little bitty bugs in there chewing the up in your hand, breaking the pectin down. It's releasing the juices and it's cutting those long chain sugars into little small bite-sized pieces for the yeast. They okay. work a whole lot easier. We always used to cook back in the old days, mm -hmm. but we've learned that pectic enzyme does the same thing and it leaves more flavor behind. All right, here's the fun part just like kneading dough. Well, I can notice it, you know, it's getting a lot juicier. That's what it does. I think the magic is working. See how much better that flavor is, Hattie? Did I mention you're not supposed to eat pectic enzyme? <laughs> <laughs> so what are we doing now? Now all that need now is put in some water with, with some sugar and then yeast it up right good. I know right. we're gonna mix it all up, but do you have an order you like to go in? It really don't matter. I just don't cook apples a whole lot, so we can dump that sugar in there, then we'll okay. dump that water on top of it. Do you think we need the whole 50 pounds of sugar? No, what I think we thinking? just need a, about, about half about of it. About half? Yeah. I've been making my own moonshine starting from scratch. I've had some bad disasters, and it's just, I want to be the best and know as much as I can in this industry. Well then. They definitely have the experience and the knowledge and expertise to teach me how to make a brandy. I mean, I feel pretty honored to be on your first outside run in the woods, Brandy, on family property. Boy, that's pretty mash. Oh yeah, damn, that's tasty. Mother of pearl, it's damn top-notch mash. As much as you want to throw in there, it don't matter. You can't over pitch yeast. There ain't no need to put in a damn slop jar full in it either. Them little critters, they'll be eating that sugar it up and pissing like out that alcohol and farting out that CO2. Well, I say we lay the lid on that and skedaddle. Oh. Morning, sunshine. Good morning. You ready to make a little brandy today, girl? Let's do it. Today's the day. Danielle is going to run her apple cranberry brandy. Let's give her a look. Kind of looks like the last puke from a bad night. <laughs> 
Well, that'll make it taste appetizing. Yeah, it really makes me want to stick my that finger in it. That is what it looks like, though. I'm pretty impressed with this mash, how it's worked off. But, you know, we got to find your ring. Some things you just can't put a price on. Well, we got to strain this mash off anyway. I lost uh, my ring in the mashing process when we were probably stirring up the pectin enzymes in, into the apples. I know where it's at. It's got to be in the mash barrel. Well, look here, up jumped the devil. There she blows. Look at there, hot down. It's a good sign. The moonshine gods are smiling on us. All righty. Hmm. Notice anything that ought not be happening? Yeah, my foot's getting wet. And why is it getting wet? Because my dumb ass didn't check the valve. No, the thing about it is, all this ain't worth a shit if it's laying on the ground. Amen. Just How about on my boot? No, won't do no, no good there. Right. It made them tasty, but I'm <laughs> damn probably a licking them. I wouldn't either. You know, I am a checklist girl, and I did not follow my own checklist. All right, this will finish it up. Yeah, we'll probably we just spit it we... all over the buyer backside of it. Yep. Oh. Hey, Mark. Huh? That ain't no good on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. <laughs> All right. We got to get a fire bill. You want to cap that rascal off? It's just a matter of waiting right now. See, now you can put your ear against that. Mm -hmm. It's not hot. Put your ear on it and you can hear how that thump kegs are Cadillac. Yeah, you can. Now, don't try to do that when it's running liquor. No, you down fingerprints and your ear will be My stuck over be there. They'll call you Danielle Van Gogh. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see Puff the Magic Dragon here in a minute. Yeah, it's starting there to... There uh -oh. Cranberry, apple, brandy, hot damn. Here we go. How do you do this? This way? Oh, it's got to go upside down. This? It's got to, other way, there you go. Like that? Nope. Nope. That Business way. end first. Business... Well, this is not what I'm used to looking at. <laughs> there you go. Uh, look how that follows that little pecker. Who do you think sat around playing with a coon's pecker and decided to try that? Well, the, you know, they used them as a damn toothpick before they did a liquor spout guidance system. So who was the first one to stick a coon pecker in their mouth? It's always a little adrenaline rush when you see the liquor start running. That's part of the joy of it, watching those jars slowly fill up. It really is. Let's give it a sample. That's jar eight. That ought to be dead smack in the hearts. That ought to be as good as it's going to get right there. All right, y'all ready? Here's the hearts jar. Mm, that's good stuff. Let me see. I think we did good. We made mountain magic. They're drinking that liquor and they're lapping it up and bragging about how good it is. And then when I taste of it, I find out. Just like I said when we were building this mash, this is some of the finest brandy that's ever been in the apple lines. There ain't a damn thing wrong with that except they ain't a thousand gallons of it. Papa, you proud of her? Look here what she's done. <laughs>